Hey, and welcome back. This is the Fluffy Oracle. My name is Heather, and this pick a card is going to be all about are your friends taking advantage of you and why? We have the Rose Quartz Skull for pile number one. Pile number two is the Big Black Ball of Doom or Black Obsidian. And we also have the Lapis Lazuli Skull for your choices. If you need any extra time, please feel free to pause the video <clears throat> before we begin to take any extra time to figure out which pile you're attracted to the most for your answers. Please don't just look with your eyes, actually kind of like take a minute and feel which one you're really strongly pulled to. Timestamps will be down below for your convenience. And without further ado, we are gonna jump in. Also, before I do, we are going to also pull some Rebel Deck cards at the end for some cheeky guidance. And also, if you are offended by any profanity or foul language, please know that you are allowed to skip this. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and know that I love you. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing and sharing these videos out. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the Rose Quartz Skull, let's see what we get for you. These are going to be some extra guidance towards the end. As well as these. Alrighty, <clears throat> so let's find out the root cause if your friends are taking advantage of you. We have the Two of Cups, Knight of Swords in Reverse, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So with this, I feel like they are jealous of this new relationship that you've come into contact with and that they would be sneaky enough to try and go behind your back and do some underhandedness, like either talk a lot of smack or attempt to at least even try and charm this person away from you, I feel. All because you had a new beginning with them. So let's find out their reason or their motive behind this and for being like this towards you. We have investigate. So they're asking you to look a little bit deeper into this situation and actually maybe even talk to your friend a little bit, but we'll find out more about that later. And then we have no need to fear. So I feel like your relationship is strong enough that you don't even need to fear about this person meddling with it. Just keep a close eye on everything that's going on and your ears and eyes open <clears throat> for any indications of foul play or um, some silliness with jealousy, okay? That way you can nip it in the bud as quickly as possible. So moving on, let's see what you can do in case like, these are for if you um, notice them doing anything suspicious, like these will be what they're doing for you to notice the signs. We have Skull of Stars, infinite, po um, infinite possibilities. So they could do any number of things from what I'm getting with this and that <clears throat> it's also um, asking you to use your intuition because your intuition is going to actually pretty much be your own internal alarm system for you to pick up on this, okay? So if your intuition's kind of going off, it's asking you to pay attention to it and just don't over, um, you know, don't jump the gun <clears throat> because if you jump the gun and move too quickly or assume too much, you could make some mistakes and have some regrets. And then we have trick or treat, mischief and play. So if they begin to be a little bit shady or act a little bit shysty or um, kind of pull back and you'll catch them in lies too is what I'm getting from this because of the mask in this. I feel like if you're able to see through their lies, then you'll be able to call them out on this. But just get all your information first and then you make that decision intuitively. So let's see what kind of guidance that um, we can give you to help either call them out or just leave them completely behind and ghost them all together. That way you don't have someone in your life that's as toxic as that who's taking advantage of you like this. Because I don't feel it's very fair to you and I that's definitely not a friend in my book. Sorry, it's just not. We have <clears throat> possessed self-confidence. So know that you're... A confident person with or without them and that 
you really don't need someone else to actually stand by your side in order to be, you know, strong or confident at all. You've got this. And then we have give without expectation. <clears throat> and follow the golden rule, know your truth, and journey within. So with these cards, I feel like they all go together with more of giving them the benefit of the doubt. And if you really value this friendship, talk to them, see what's up kind of try and understand their point of view and have them try and understand your point of view as well but don't set your expectations very high for things to go as smoothly as you would hope them to because normally when a situation like this comes out it it tends to kind of get messy is what I feel but if you follow the golden rule of if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all you can just walk away and choose to just be like you know what I'm not even going to go there. Stand in your truth and then kind of go within a little bit on your thoughts to maybe think about what it is you clearly want to do with this situation, whether you either want to talk to them and confront them or whether you just want to walk away altogether and drop it and take the more mature route. So let's see what we get for guidance that you can heal from any of this if it's caused you any kind of strife or pain or stress, okay? We have reached for the stars, Orchid. You deserve only the best, and this is all you should focus on, <clears throat> focus your attention on. So know that you do deserve the best, and that there are better friends out there that will be loyal to you instead of disloyal and dishonest with you. Then we have let go of anxiety. So, and uh, magnify your intentions. So with these these three cards I feel like they're more or less asking you to just let go and kind of walk away from this person so that way that it doesn't cause you any more stress or undue stress or any unnecessary tension between um, yourself and the rest of your friends group and then we have magnify your intentions choose a specific goal to work toward your energy is spread out among too many ideas. Please bring your focus back to, key, back to the key intentions and let your angels help. So with this, I feel like once you make a decision, go with that decision and know that you made the right decision. And these are your messages that I'm getting for you from this. Thank you so much for liking and watching. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the big black ball of doom or the black obsidian, let's find out the root cause if your friends are taking advantage of you and their motives behind it. For why? We have the king of wands in reverse. Queen of pentacles. And the knight of cups. So with this, I feel like... Let me see. I'm getting that there's a crush from somebody on you that they might be interested in as well. And I feel like there's a little bit of jealousy towards that because this person has made some more advancements towards you rather than them. So I feel like that they have kind of like that jealousy streak towards you with these three cards. It's not like one single message, but that's what I'm getting from all three of these from looking at the story kind of line. And when the King of Wands is in reverse, I feel like it's more of like they are very capable of doing something out of spite with this jealousy for someone offering you their cup of love rather than them. So let's find out their motives behind this and the reasons why. It says, keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. And <clears throat> you can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. So with this, I feel like you have this very strong, confident air about you, and you are also very uh, wise and smart, and I feel like that makes you stand out more, and they kind of have like a hard time dealing with the fact that this person may like you a bit more than them, and it makes them feel a little bit angry inside. And it's also hard for them to keep control of their temper sometimes when they're around you um, with this. So let's see what we can do so that you can notice 
the signs that they're giving off so that you can either talk to them or walk away from them and call them out. We have <clears throat> winter. <sighs> the sacredness of pausing. So with this, if they go silent for a while, that's a big indication. Like when they stop talking to you, that they're angry with you and that they're having a hard time controlling themselves. And they're also doing their own self a favor and holding back so they don't lose their temper with you. And then we have eternal love. Love is love is love. And it transcends physical health, physical death. So with this, I feel like they do value your friendship very much enough to stay away and try and let things go and to internalize and work through these emotions that they're having. And then we have the witch. The earthly weaver of the worlds. So with this, I feel like they're definitely going within and trying to harness all of their emotions and their anger and to withdraw. So these are the signs that you would notice. So if you, you know, and I feel like you value um, your friendship with them just as much as they value their friendship with you because they love you as a friend and they don't want to lose you. I feel like if you just speak to them after a little while, like give them their space and let them take their time once they go silent or and whatnot and take a break from you, let them work through those issues and then talk to them. I feel like that's what's most needed and um, called for with this situation. So let's get some guidance on <clears throat> what you can do to either talk to them or, um, yeah, to talk to them. Let's make it that. Because with this, I feel like it's more of talking to them and saving your friendship rather than um, just leaving them behind and throwing away your friendship. I feel like it's really divinely called for to talk to them and see what's up and it will strengthen your bond of friendship even more. So this is a really good reading for you guys. So we have be of service. So with this, I feel like it's definitely calling for you to listen to them and to help them work through this once you're able to talk to them and get them to open up to you about this. Okay. We have choose love over fear. Just like I said, work with them because you love them just like they love you as a friend. Listen to them and have them listen to you and see each other's point of views when you work through this. Okay. We have, everyone has value. These, your friendship is very valuable to them as much as it, um, their friendship is very valuable to you is what I'm getting with this card. We have death is an illusion. So with this, whatever falls away in this friendship is meant to fall away because it doesn't serve either of you and it's not very healthy for your friendship. So whatever issues get put to bed, let them go after you've worked through them, learn from your mistakes. So if there's anything that comes up that actually like kind of triggers them, learn from that so that you can avoid that type of thing in the future. And definitely by talking to them and working things out like this will definitely help more in the long run. So let's see what we can do to help you guys both heal from this and to move on. We have chakra clearing. By clearing your chakras, you open yourself up to profound wisdom. So with this, I feel like it's more they're asking you to remain open-minded and open-hearted between the both of you. With seeing each other's points of view, we have purification. By purifying your life of negative people, places, and experiences, you attain true peace. So once you work through these issues, they will no longer exist and they will no longer have a negative effect on your relationship, which is awesome. And then we have first step. Breaking down this problem into tiny pieces makes it easy to take the first step. So once you're able to finally come together and talk about things and actually go over things and work things out, it is the first step in moving forward between the both of you and having a long and lasting loving friendship between the both of you. That was so awesome, you guys. I swear to God, that was just one of the best readings I've possibly done in a long time for people. So I really do hope you enjoyed this and that you got some really awesome advice out of it. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing and watching my videos. And I will see you at the end for the Rebel Deck messages. 
Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the lapis lazuli, let's see what we get for if your friend is taking advantage of you and the reasons behind it and why. So let's see what we get from the tarot. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Magician. And we have the Six of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there's some issues from the past that weren't resolved even though you thought you guys resolved everything and that you guys grew from them and kind of moved on but I feel like someone hasn't moved on from them from the past so whatever these issues are this is the um, reason behind whatever it is that they're doing to take advantage of you and then we have nonsense and the right way <clears throat> a time to talk sense so I feel like when you had this talk in the past I feel like you guys thought you were doing like one of you thought you were doing the right thing by talking things out and trying to make amends with the other but the other person didn't see it so much that way I feel like they just listened and let it go in one ear and out the other and didn't take anything into consideration with this so this is their reasons and their motives why they might be taking advantage of you right now so let's let you win on some signs and see what they're doing so that you can um really everything went upside down on me <laughs> these cards aren't being read upside down so whatever messages are meant to come out they will come out so these are the signs that, and things that they're exhibiting for you to notice what they're doing so we have acceptance and equality lady de, la, de los muertos so with this i feel like they have like this <laughs> i'm better than you type of attitude that type of thing that yes i had a valley girl accent so don't judge <laughs> i feel like they have like their nose stuck up and that they try and act like they're better than you and that's one of the um signs that they're exhibiting and then we have the underworld we're where all things pause and begin again so with this i feel like they talk a lot of juicy gossip is what i'm getting from this because the fruit is kind of basically in the skull's mouth and for me it's juicy and being that it's in their mouth for me it's like talking juicy gossip and just squeezing everything out for its last drop and just kind of exuding kind of almost like a poison to people around you so if other people tend to kind of have this standoffish feeling towards you they might be behind it and then we have the lamp remembrance it's all because they couldn't let go of whatever this past issue was that they've been holding on to and it's a very deep-seated thing is what I feel and that it needs to be let go but also that some light needs to be shed on it too so let's see what we can do to either um, help you call them out and finally put this issue to rest or whether you should just walk away and be the um just ghost them instead and let them be on their own I'm like all right I know my other cards are right side up because that's how it's supposed to be <laughs> sorry about that guys we have worry is a wasted emotion so with this I feel like don't waste your time worrying about whatever their petty jealous issues are just let it go and then we have take take responsibility for your own actions so with this i feel like if you're gonna choose to just leave this issue as a dead issue just own whatever it is you feel like you did wrong and just move on because that's a more mature adult thing to do is what i'm getting from this and then it says re release toxic relationships let this person go let them be on their own let them stew in their own little juices and do them because you deserve better and this is not a true friend for you we have forgive yourself know that you didn't do anything wrong you did try and do the right thing like i said before in the past with trying to fix this because you valued this relationship when they didn't clearly and then we have abundance is your right so know that moving on from them and getting what's yours and having all of your manifestations coming through and all of that know that that's yours and that you deserve better so definitely moving on is what's being called for with this so let's see what we can do to give you some guidance to help you heal from all of this we have your wishes are coming true 
that's awesome <clears throat> what your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day so when you release this person i feel like you're going to meet a really awesome friend that's going to replace this person 10 times over and you're not even going to remember that they exist eventually like you'll see them in passing and you'll still say hi and bye because you're a very cordial person i get and know that that's the right and respectful thing to do you can still have conversations with them and if they ask to hang out once in a while if you want to that's up to you by all means go ahead we have laughter uplift yourself and those around you through loving laughter so with this take everything with a grain of salt and keep it moving is what i'm getting with this and then we have your spirit you're a spiritual teacher share your wisdom with others you were born to teach so with this i feel like you're a very wise and smart individual and that you're better than what you think and with all of this you are the more wiser and you are more um equipped to move on and get what you deserve finally thank you so much for liking and watching and subscribing to my videos i do hope that you enjoyed this reading and i will see you for the ending rebel deck messages in one sec Alrighty, so let's get into these Rebel Deck cards, shall we? Last one. kind of cheeky guidance can we give them to help them through the rest of their week so we have don't let it all hang out leave some shit to the imagination so with this don't give away all your business and don't air out all your dirty laundry because it can be later on used against you just so you know as a forewarning that's kind of what i'm getting from this card and let them just sit there and think about whatever it is that you're doing and have their own imagination because it'll probably get away with them run away with them is what i'm getting from this and then we have you're hot smart and you got a great ass <laughs> your person is lucky remind them so know that you guys deserve each other with your friendship and that you guys have an awesome and amazing friendship together okay and nothing and let not as well as let nothing come in between that or ever tear it apart <clears throat> we have tantrums are for babies this goes perfect with your reading grow the fuck up so this person needs to grow the fuck up and you can just let them sit there and throw their own little pity party and move on into happiness because you so deserve it. These are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed this friendship reading. If you guys would like more on this topic, please feel free to drop whatever kind of questions you would like me to try and answer for you below in the comments. Know that I love you and thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and watching my videos. And if you're new here and this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, please definitely feel free to subscribe. And have a great one.